this this is an ultrasound study of uh, that is female uh, gives history of amenorrhea of uh, three months this is the urinary bladder in longitude in transfer section in front of you this is the longitudinal section of the uterus here you will see the cervix as well as the vaginal echoes are in front of you the cervical canal is seen. this is the urinary bladder the vagina the cervical canal and this is the cervix and uh, the anterior lip of the cervix the posterior lip of the cervix now from here as i proceed anteriorly upwards i see uh, uterus and light and bulky that measure approximately I can give you an approximate size, measure the approximately uh, 131 or uh, in other words 13.1 centimeter into 7.2 centimeter and this is an enlarged because normal uterus uh, is from 11 to 5, 11 into 5, okay. Now you see that the myometrium anterior myometrium is seen normally. This is the anterior myometrium and uh, this is the fundal region. This is the fundal region and this is the posterior myometrium. This is it. And she has a uh, pregnancy test positive, highly raised beta HCG level. And in the center what you are seeing, uh, filling the, uh, now they, they this is this is the fluid, amniotic fluid, in fact, and uh, this uh, area within the gestational sac uh, is uh, a high TD for mole. Okay, this one, if you see that there are multiple cystic areas seen in the subtract throughout this uh, mass. And uh, this picture is very much characteristic of uh, IDD from mole and we can see that there is uh, uh, no invasion, at least from this view it appears as if there is no invasion of the mole into the myometrium if you follow this outer border, this area. So this is the uterine border, myometrial border. This is the order of the IDD for mole and uh, the mole measures approximately uh, 10 into 5 to be around and to give into rounded figure 10 into 5 centimeters and this these has, you know, uh, potential of uh, developing into a choriocarcinoma, which this is the transverse view. See the characteristic appearance, grape-like, uh, grapes-like appearance of the cystic uh, area within this solid mass, echogenic mass, and uh, it is surrounded by amniotic fluid. Religion is the center, you may know that. And, uh, so this is our today's case. And however, yes, we do, uh, there is no thecal uterine cyst or uh, ovarian cyst with uh, highly developed capsule uh, uh, follicles <coughs> in this cell uh, patient which is uh, very commonly seen in such patients. But in this patient, there is no evidence of uh, enlarged ovarian cyst uh, with uh, large developing follicles. They were must be seen in all such cases. And uh, the para-aortic region should be evaluated no periodic lymph nodes, liver is normal. And uh, this is the spleen. Spleen is normal. Biscuit nature is normal. So uh, this is our case of the day that uh, pertains to the
study of architecture for more. Thank you very much. Now there is something very important to be discussed regarding this case, and uh, it is that uh, if you see that the cis uh, interspread between uh, the ecogenic uh, fibrous tissue and well demarcation of the solid mass is also very much consistent uh, with being uh, a choriocarcinoma. So in this case, the possibility of uh, choriocarcinoma cannot be ruled out and should be ruled out by other imaging modalities as uh, the choriocarcinoma will also give you an almost the same picture as you are seeing in this case. So that's a very important differential to be kept in mind. Thank you very much.